Hey guys, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the care plan for endocarditis. So we're briefly going to take a look at the pathophysiology and etiology of endocarditis. We're going to also take a look at additional things that would be included in the endocarditis care plan, like subjective and objective data your patient with this issue might present with, and also necessary nursing interventions, as well as the rationales. So endocarditis is inflammation of the lining of the valves of the heart, often from an infectious source, which can cause disorders of the valve and also life-threatening arrhythmias. Because vegetations can form from bacteria, heart attacks and strokes are also extremely possible. So the two most common causes of endocarditis are IV drug use because of the introduction of bacteria into the vascular system and also artificial valve replacement as bacteria tends to adhere to artificial devices. So the desired outcome is to treat the cause and remove the source of infection while preserving cardiac output and preventing any major or even minor complications. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the subjective and objective data that your patient with endocarditis may present with. So remember, subjective data is going to be things that are based on your patient's opinions or feelings. So these things for endocarditis might include chest pain or symptoms of heart failure. So objective data for endocarditis includes possibly a temperature, increased white blood cells, signs of heart failure, heart murmurs, decreased SATs, and also embolic complications, including splintering, hemorrhage in the nail beds, Janeway lesions on the fingers, toes, and nose, and clubbing of the fingers. Okay, let's take a look at some nursing interventions necessary for endocarditis. Assess heart sounds. As patients with endocarditis may develop valve disorders. So listen for heart murmurs or extra sounds. Next, assess and address oral hygiene. This is super important. There's a significant connection between oral health and pericarditis. There's so, this is so important as bacteria can actually travel from the mouth to the heart super easy. So patients should brush their teeth twice daily. So with endocarditis, there are almost always a bacterial source involved. So IV antibiotics will be required to treat this infection. Be sure to obtain blood cultures prior to initiating antibiotics. The provider may also order anticoagulant therapy to prevent further collection of platelets or clots around the valves and to prevent major complications from an emboli. Depending on the medication, the therapy may require monitoring. For example, IV heparin, you'll need to do PTTs. So because of the risk of embolic complications, patients with endocarditis should have SCDs and head hose. Be sure to assess for signs of an emboli because of the possible vegetations on the valves. There's a risk of MI, PE, stroke, even damage to the smaller vessels in the hands, feet, and extremities. Be sure that you educate your patients on the signs of infections and also reporting these to the provider. Also, teaching hand hygiene is critical. Teach the patient to inform other providers of their endocarditis history before any procedure as the patient may need prophylactic antibiotics. And they should not have any dental procedures for six months. 
Okay, guys, here is a look at the completed care plan for endocarditis. Okay, let's do a quick review of endocarditis. This is the inflammation of the lining of the heart valves, usually from an infectious source, which can cause valvular disorders and arrhythmias. The cause is usually from IV drug use or from artificial valves. Subjective data includes chest pain and symptoms of heart failure. Objective data includes a temperature, having elevated white blood cells, signs of heart failure, heart murmurs, and embolic complications like splintering hemorrhagic nail beds, finger clubbing, and Jane Way lesions. Assess the patient's heart sounds listening for murmur. Assess their oral hygiene and have them brush their teeth twice daily. Assess for signs and symptoms of emboli to prevent MIs, strokes, PEs. Apply SCDs and TED hose. Administer IV antibiotics, anticoagulant therapy to prevent embolic complications. Educate the patient to report any signs of infection to their provider. Tell the provider of endocarditis for any procedure that they may have as they may need antibiotic prophylaxis and they should not have any dental procedures for six months. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you want to just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.